I wanted to enlighten you about what those padded caps are. What is up, Bills Mafia? We have a milestone tonight. We now have 200 days to go until the Buffalo Bills win Super Bowl 57. This channel is documenting every single day, leading up to the amazing moment when you and I can celebrate a Super Bowl championship. Day four of training camp is in the books. I was watching some more videos online of the guys out there, you know, throwing the ball around, Josh Allen looking like Josh Allen, the fans having fun, the players seemingly enjoying the nice weather, and it's, it's good to see, you know, it's good to see all the, all the excitement, and of course, football is back, football is back, football is back. But while watching the training camp highlights over the last few days, I've I noticed, noticed, as we all do, the... The big white padded caps that some of the players have on their helmets. And I just, you know, blew it off. Like, okay, so they got these padded padded caps on their on their helmets. But I thought to myself, well, well, why do some of the players have them and some of the players do not? It was of interest to me, and I thought that might make a good video tonight because maybe some of you are like me. Like, what the heck are those all about? So I looked it up and the answer isn't anything spectacular. It makes sense. The league, apparently, the owners and the players' union, I guess, got together, I think, last season and decided that a certain number of the players during preseason had to wear those to prevent from getting concussions during training camp. And they stipulated that linemen, both offensive and de defensive linemen, linebackers and tight ends had to wear them. I guess because those positions end up getting knocked in the head more than the other positions. That's the only thing I can think of because you don't see the wide receivers wearing those padded helmets. You don't see the defensive backs wearing the padded helmets. Of course, you don't see the quarterbacks wearing those padded helmets. So, I mean, that's, that's the simple answer. But while watching the training camp highlights, I noticed that one linebacker, one we know very well, doesn't wear the padded helmets, and that is Von Miller. So I don't know what that's all about. Was he grandfather clawed out of having to do that? Does he not have to wear it because he's Von Miller? You know, they, they design these things to, to give the players more protection from concussions. You know, concussions are a big deal in the NFL lately. A, a lot of a lot of situations have been cropping up over the last 10, 15 years with concussions and the problems with some of these players after their careers and what they deal with when it comes to their head injuries. CTE is the the official medical term, which I'm not even sure what that stands for. It's going to say right here because I'll be putting it in the video after I record this. There it is. That's what CTE stands for. So I wanted to enlighten you about what those padded caps are on some of the players' helmets. Why some of them have them and some of them don't. That's my answer. That's the answer. That's it. 200 days. 200 days until the Buffalo Bills win Super Bowl 57. See you tomorrow.